I'm gonna do like an update on my life. It's a new year. I'm actually exhausted. It is 1.31 in the morning, okay? And I tried to go to a little bowling function with my friend. I got in there and after 15 minutes, y'all, I was falling asleep. I was like, I have to go home. Luckily, it was near my house. That's the only reason I went. And I was already dressed from filming content. But I went back home because one thing about me, I'm going to go home. I'm actually exhausted right now. But I was like, you know what? I got cute. Let me film this. So before I answer questions, I did post like a QA and a um, question thing on my Instagram. So I'm going to read some stuff that you guys asked me. I posted a while ago. And I had some good questions in that batch, but I never ended up using it. And that was so long ago. We're just going to use the questions I posted recently. But before I do that, I want to just give you a little update just on what's been going on. Also, if I look tired and my eyes are closing more than usual, it's because I'm exhausted. It's 1.33 a.m. But, all right, it moved back a little. Um... Yeah, it's been a roller coaster for me the past year. It's been rough. That was probably one of my roughest years as an adult. I'm not even going to lie. I just feel like I completely just lost motivation. I just didn't do well in being productive and making the most of my time and prioritizing myself. But it's okay because if I would have never went through that phase, who knows how I'd feel now. So I'm glad that it kind of like motivated me to get back on my and here we are so to just sum up things that have actually happened one i've been single for a while now and i feel like i needed this when i'm in a relationship i just get wrapped up in the other person and i don't prior prioritize myself and my own needs and my own goals i just don't i'm just so infatuated with the person and the thing about men is they're don't stop they're gonna keep going and women we have to not all women but like most women we will stop what we're doing to be with our man and men don't do that they're still on their grind they still get what they need to get done so i'm not doing that anymore even let's just say i'm talking to someone new right i am not going to put a put a stop put a halt on what i have going on to be with them i'm just not and that's something that the next person will have to understand and it is a struggle because dating is hard anyone that doesn't understand that i am in my selfish era is not for me and who's to say like obviously when i connect the right, with the right person and have those feelings you know i i do want to have a family within the next couple of years at the most i'm 24 i would like to have kids before i'm 30 but i don't want to put a limit on it because that shouldn't be my focus but that is something that i really want i just want it to be right i don't want to i'm gonna just be be blunt i don't want to be a baby mama and i'm not gonna be a baby mama if i'm having your baby we better be engaged there better be a ring on this finger or we're in the plans to do it because i just don't i i don't i want to do things right and old me young me probably wouldn't have cared as much because something weird happened in this generation where it's easier to have kids with someone than get married like men are okay with the commitment of having a human being with the person for the rest of their life but marriage no that is something that's important to me it's something i value and but i have a lot of career goals 2024 is about me i'd be forgetting that i'm still young i feel like i'm so old and my life is over but i'm 24 okay i do wish i was still 21 but i'm 24 and i'm still young and i need to live in this moment right now and take advantage of it so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to get back into the swing of things. I already have. Like I've already started doing a lot for myself and I'm proud and I feel like I've made progress already. But these are just a few things that I've been doing. So I'm about to start therapy. Therapy is something I've been wanting to do forever. Ever since I learned about it, I've been wanting to do it. But I never took the time to find therapist, to find a therapist, to figure out who I wanted and actually make it a priority to go and do it so this past week i've had a few consultations on the phone um i liked most of the women that i spoke to but the problem is most of them except for one only do online consultations i mean not consultations they only do online services and i really had just have a vision of me going in like i want to go in person to have my therapy sessions. I know it might not make a difference and one of the ladies even told me, she's like, most people feel that way and then they end up switching to just doing Zoom or virtual um, sessions because it's more convenient. 
You don't have to worry about traffic. You can do it from anywhere in the world. It's, it's just easier, but I am a procrastinator and I feel like to hold myself accountable, it's like getting up and going to do it. Same with working out, like Pilates. If I schedule a class in the morning, it's something that I'm like, I have to get up. No matter how tired I am, whatever, I have to get up. I paid for this class. I have to get up and go and it works it motivates me to get out of my bed and go and maybe one day i'm in a mood or just don't want to go to therapy the fact that it's virtual would make me blow it off so i probably need to just work on my own like self-control whatever but i just really envisioned myself in person so the one lady that does do in-person sessions i'm gonna just try her out and who knows, I might love her in person and then want to keep doing that. But I feel like it's best to do a few people. So even if you are looking into therapy, I recommend you do the same thing. Don't just go with the first person that you find. Have a few sessions. The only problem is if you're paying out of pocket, it's expensive. Because obviously, I am going to have to pay out of pocket for this until I get my insurance situation together. That's a whole other story. But um so yeah it, it's gonna be expensive but i think it's worth the investment i spend a lot of money on other things that are less of a priority so i want to actually actually just do this and try it if i don't like it and it's not for me at least i tried it out you know career wise i'm getting into other things y'all so i don't know if i've ever talked about this but i've been feeling for a while that i'm just over social media and i hate to say that because social media and content creation has brought me a lot of opportunities and I'm grateful. I just kind of realized it's not as much of a passion for me. I do enjoy creating content, don't get me wrong, but on my own terms. And the thing is, when I feel like it's pressured and it's like, if you don't, if you don't film content, your money is gonna go down for the month or whatever the case, it becomes stressful and I go through a lot of personal stuff. Sometimes I don't wanna be in front of the camera. Sometimes I don't wanna talk. Sometimes I don't wanna get up and get dressed. Sometimes I just wanna rot in bed and be by myself and I don't want to take pictures. Sometimes I just want to go out and live in the moment and not worry about taking a photo in my outfit before or whatever the case. So it's definitely pros and cons. I will always do content creation, but I think that I'm at a point in my life as I'm maturing where I just don't want it to be the main thing. I want to establish other forms of income, get into other things that I actually am passionate about and that I maybe never tapped into. So, um, with that being said, I started a marketing course. It's a digital marketing course because I'm super interested in the back end side of social media. I feel like I can see myself working for a company and being on like the marketing team for their creatives, for their social media platforms, coming out with like campaign ideas and just a strategy. Who knows? Marketing is very broad and I feel like you can go so many directions with that, but I am just taking the course because I want to learn more about it. Like, KPIs and just different things I don't know on the technical side and numbers and just how to run ads properly how to do it like there's so many things that I need to learn more about um, I don't want to say too much because I don't really like saying things before they fully blossom but let's just say I have tapped into something in the back end that I'm doing as a job and I feel like this course, this course was already something before that opportunity came along that I planned on doing, but it's only going to help me because I already do feel like I'm pretty confident in what I already know from firsthand experience. Me being the forefront of my own platforms for so long, like that in itself is a portfolio, you know? So I don't want to, this is already getting too long on this topic, but that was just part of my major update. Aside from like career and healing and all that, I'm really just focusing on myself figuring out what I like, you know, exploring new things. I have a lot of goals and career things that I want to do. I'm not going to tell all of them because obviously I want to just keep things for myself and actually see if it even is for me before I just sit here and tell you everything. I feel like I'm going to elevate on another level because this past year, like I said, I wasn't focusing on my goals. I was just living in the moment, being lazy, depending on someone else for happiness. And sis, that is not it. It's not it, okay? I can make a whole video on this. Uh, let's move forward to some questions because, yeah, that was already a long update. Um, what else, what else, what else? I've, I've still been traveling a lot. I have some other travel plans coming up soon, so I'm still gonna vlog during all of that. My Valentine's Day is coming up. I don't have plans, but you never know. You never know. You never know what I'll, I don't, I, I genuinely don't have plans, but 
I could possibly do something. I want to go somewhere, so I might be out of town. My birthday's in May, which is still a minute from now, but I'm already like brainstorming. I'm already brainstorming where I want to go because I want to go somewhere cool that I've never been. I have a few ideas. I'm not going to say them as yet, but yeah. Also, another update. If you follow me on other platforms, then you would have known about my group trip that I was promoting, and it was for Brazil in March. And I've already announced this, but I never really explained why, and I feel like now it's been enough time for me to explain why. So, in my previous vlog, if you watched that, well, the one before this would have been my Switzerland. So, the one before that, I did explain how there was, like, a stalker situation. So, that had something to do with why I canceled the trip. It didn't have anything to, like, do with a with affecting it or whatever like it was still gonna be a safe trip i still had to approve everyone do background checks all of that i i was hand selecting the people but it just kind of discouraged me from even doing it i was like you know what? this is too much right now as much as i love the people that do genuinely support me i just think it's like it's too much and i want to next time probably do it a different way maybe like a private kind of trip thing even though that's tricky because if my supporters are going to know about it, it can't be that private. But I might do something with it, like, on, only on my travel page, make that private. I just will strategize it differently because, obviously, I want that to be the best, the best and safest experience for me and whoever's coming. It was already going to be all women. That just, I'm not going to sit here and lie. Like, that really just turned me off a little bit. And like I said, it was still going to be a safe trip. I was going to have security. Like, a lot of things were going to happen. So it didn't, it, it wasn't going to affect it necessarily, but it kind of just was off-putting and it made me take a step back and be like, you know what, I want to reevaluate, come back, try this again later. I just feel like now I, I'm not really, I don't really want to do it. I'm already a very private person. I'm already an introvert. I was already a little like nervous and after like working with that company, they made me feel safe about it and I had my own precautions I was taking, but... Like I said, that just kind of like made me want to take a step back and reevaluate, come back later. I do still plan on doing group trips because traveling is genuinely a passion of mine. Like I, that's why I made my travel page, which I know I've been doing bad on being consistent, but I really have a passion for it. If I can have a job somewhere in that travel world, I would love to. So I'm trying to already kind of make it a thing. With my course, I don't know if I said specifics, but I take a marketing, the online marketing course. It's twice a week. For the next couple months so I think I finish in April and then I will get a actual certification in digital marketing okay and I can just use that to my advantage of course because it's better to just have as much knowledge as possible let's jump into these questions next countries you plan to travel to or your dream country to visit so um next countries I plan to travel to or my dream country to visit so coming up I probably will be going back to the UK I would love to go to Paris while I'm already out on that side of the world. Um, so we're at end of January right now. February, I probably will be in the UK again. And <laughs> what else? The next trip after that, in March, I might be going to China with my aunt because she actually works in like for a fashion company and she has to go to China. But I've been hearing a lot of bad things about it and it's kind of scaring me, but it's somewhere I've never been. I would love to stamp that in my passport and just experience a new place, even if I hate it. So let me know your thoughts or if you've been to China or if you know anything about it right now because I might be going there in March, but it just depends. I gotta just see. So that's the only trips I have like possibly planned soon. And then of course, like I said, my birthday trip is coming up in May and I'm brainstorming for that. So if you have any cool ideas, leave a comment below. Do you think you will try acting? So to be honest, I would love to act. I would love to have that as one of my many, you know, things. I used to take acting classes before COVID and it was something that I was, you know, in the process of doing. Now, that's not something I'm really focusing on or thinking about, but if an opportunity comes along or presents itself, I would love to do it. I would never say like, no, I don't wanna act. I just feel like I'm not taking classes anymore and you know, but never say never. Do you have any glow up tips? So in short form, because I can make a whole video on this, I actually kind of did. My healing video was like glow up tips. But I would say go to therapy if you need to. If you have some trauma you need to unpack, go to therapy, sis. Invest in it. Figure out if your insurance can cover it. And I feel like that's glowing up from within because 
me personally, I, I'm very guarded and I hold a lot in and that really affects you mentally and part of glowing up is being mentally okay. Or find a form of therapy, just something healthy that you're using to cope. Because for me, coping was just going to sleep, traveling, like escaping reality temporarily and then having to come back and face it and that's not healthy. Just take care of yourself within, prioritize your health. Even breaking out, little things like that, they start from within. Check your diet. Make sure you're taking the right vitamins and supplements every day. Use like natural products and things that are organic and good for your skin. All of that is glowing up from within because just putting on makeup, getting a haircut and dyeing your hair is not, like we gotta think bigger. We gotta think long term, okay? Scheduling a workout, Pilates. Pilates was a huge part in me healing. Like I'm not there fully yet, but it changed my life. Like it, it gave me something it gave me purpose. It gave me purpose. When I felt like I didn't have a purpose, I was like, you know what? I'm getting up. I'm doing something that's healthy and beneficial for my, me, my body, my mental. It's fun. I enjoy it. It's holding myself accountable. And that really made such a difference in just my mental state. It was a distraction. It was something to get up and do. Because also, having your own schedule and being a content creator is draining because everything is on you. You don't have a manager or a boss. Well, you can have a manager, I have a manager, but you don't have like a boss telling you if you don't make it into work today, you're gonna be fired. Like everything is on you. So you have to find some structure. Why don't you update us on your relationship anymore? Relationship status anymore, it's been years. Because there's no update y'all. Well, I said already at the beginning of this video, I am single. I'm just in a different like vibe i have a different type of person i want to be with i know what i'm not tolerating you have to go through growing pains and i'm a taurus i'm stubborn as hell if you tell me to go left i'm gonna go right like i have to actually live in my own stuff to learn from it and i don't have any regrets i truly don't i think that everything happens for a reason whether it's to help you grow learn i don't have a roster i'm very like I'm very picky and I prefer to just deal with one person than a bunch because that's too much energy that I don't have and a waste of my time and not everyone deserves your time okay so you need to be picky and I want a man that has their shit together is mature is healed come healed I'm not about to heal you anymore okay truly and I'm healing myself I can't heal another person like I used to just unintentionally be drawn to people that needed to heal on their own and i'm not with that anymore i'm like slightly entertaining a person but i'm taking things slow because i just really know what i want now and i want it to be right and i don't want to force anything so yeah i'm gonna probably keep that part of my life private until there's a ring on my finger to be honest with y'all also i wish everyone the best i want like people that i love and loved i want to see them happy and people can be cool and cordial without having to be romantically involved. And that's what you guys need to understand. Like, there's no hate towards anyone. What are the exercises you do at Pilates? So it's a lot of flexibility. I do a mix of like Legree and traditional. So it's with a machine, it's low impact, it's pretty slow paced, but you feel the burn. And I prefer workouts like that, even with yoga. I don't wanna go to the gym and be slaved by a trainer and feel like I'm about to die or throw up or faint like I like workouts where I'm at a comfortable pace but I feel the burn like I literally during Pilates in the middle of it I feel like oh my god like my leg is is just like you can feel it in your muscles you can feel the aching and I love it I don't want to feel like I'm about to die or throw up I just want to feel like it's working and Pilates does that Yoga as well, but I'm not as big on yoga as Pilates. I do yoga maybe if I'm just doing an off day from Pilates or whatever, if I'm in the mood. Hey, you don't have to answer if it's too personal. Do you have a relationship with your dad? Um, Honestly, I'm fine with answering this. It's nothing that I'm like, it's off limits. I would say I don't. I don't have a relationship with my dad. I, it's not for a specific reason. The thing is, my parents had me young. They were high school sweethearts. Stuff happened and they didn't stay together and I was very young and you know I moved around a lot at a young age I've lived in multiple states and my dad I kind of just I didn't live in the same city as him and we just didn't connect like stay connected and I feel like he was an adult 
me being his first daughter, he could have put in more effort and took the initiative and took the initiative to maintain a relationship with me and he didn't. And I don't hate him for that. I don't resent him for that. I think it's just kind of like a part of me that I push to the side and I just don't think about. And I do feel like that's affected me in life. The men that I've chose I have daddy issues. Not ashamed to say it. I have daddy issues. I do. I do. But that's part of like something in therapy I'm sure will unpack. As a girl, that really affects you because you don't have like a male figure in your life to look to and lead by example of what a man is supposed to do and how a man is supposed to treat you. And like, I didn't really have that. Um, it's kind of sad, but I, that's why I'm like, I want the best for my child. I want to make sure I'm in the right situation so that they are experiencing like a healthy family example. How's your auto accident recovery? Well wishes. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm great. I'm fine. Thank God. Thank God that I was good. And that's the most important thing. I was really devastated in the middle of it because I'm like, oh my God, my car is going to be total. But my car ended up being fine. It was being fixed for over a month, but I'm finally I'm back in it. I'm going to be careful, even though I was careful before and some things you just can't control. But um, yeah, I'm better now. My car is, is fixed and... Yeah, we're gonna be extra cautious. Tips on how to stay busy, your favorite Pilates and tennis club to attend. I've kind of touched on this when I've answered other questions, but staying busy, you just need to schedule things to do. Book a workout in the mornings that you're forced to get up and go. Because if you know you already paid for a class, it's like easier to force yourself to get up and make it there and not waste your money than just be like, oh, I don't have anything scheduled for today. I'm gonna go back to sleep. So. Schedule things, fill your schedule so that you have a reason to wake up. My problem in the past was just like getting up was the hardest part of my day. And then once I started doing things, it was easy because I'm like, I'm already up, I'm active. My favorite Pilates is Wunda Bar Pilates. Wunda or Wunda? It's W-U-N-D-A. I don't know if they're in other states. I know there's several locations in LA. I love it. I just love their the way they teach Pilates, I love all the instructors, I look forward to the class, I have fun, I feel like I get a great workout, and I'm super toned, like I've seen the results in a short time, so I love it when I'm consistent with it, I feel like my, my stomach is ripped, my butt is nice, and like, oh, I, I just love it, I love it. Tennis club to attend, so the only tennis club I've been to was the Beverly Hills Tennis Club. Um, you can pay for additional sessions. You just go on their website, pick an instructor, send them an email, and they schedule individually. I did tennis lessons in the summer a few times. I didn't keep up with it because I started traveling and that completely just messed up my routine. But I would definitely go back. If you're in LA and you want something like a little bougie, I would go there. But it was expensive. Me and my friend were splitting the sessions and going together. So I know ClassPass has lots of options. I would just see what fits your budget. My daily routine. So my routine changes every day. But I would say as of lately, when I'm in LA and I'm not like traveling a lot, I wake up, I go to Pilates, usually in the morning, early afternoon, latest. I come back home, I shower. If I have stuff to do after Pilates, then I'll run my errands. Like any appointments or errands I have to do. If not, I'll come back home, shower. I usually try to film some content make lunch also in the mornings i'll try to have breakfast like oatmeal bagel something quick and light um i try not to have a coffee till after pilates or after i've eaten something because it's really bad to eat it to have coffee on an empty stomach i'm just trying to stop doing that any appointments i have that day i'll fit in till after pilates honestly my schedule is different every day i don't know like today i had pilates i went directly home i got a coffee after went back home showered filmed a few TikToks, did, so I showered, did my makeup, filmed a few TikToks. Then I had my digital marketing class from four to six. That was online, I did that. Then after that, I made dinner. Also, I was vlogging the whole day, so that's just ongoing. So after that, I made dinner. I had a HelloFresh, some like stuffed peppers. It, it was all right, only because they were there wasn't meat and I feel like I needed meat, it was like vegan. Then I washed my boatload of dishes, cleaned up my kitchen, filmed another TikTok, took a shower, did my makeup again. <laughs> I tried to film like a get ready with me on TikTok as well. Then I, my friend picked me up. 
we tried to find like a bar to just get let's get an espresso martini or something everything was closed and then we went bowling and I stayed for like 15 minutes and left and came back home and now I'm filming this video to make use of me being ready so that was my day today favorite song at the moment honestly I don't know I honestly I've had Pink Friday too on repeat I don't have like a, a necessarily I don't really have a favorite song at the moment I love Brent Fia's The Larger Than Life album. The two songs I love on there is Where You At and Pistachios. I also have been listening to Journals, the Justin Bieber album from a while back. Like, I love that album. I think most of the songs are really good. It's it's still a bop, still, the, still something I be playing. I also love Chris Brown's album. See, I don't have like a song I love at the moment, but I have a lot of albums I'm listening to on repeat. This is a random song I discovered. It's called Love Is Gone by Nico Baran. It's like mostly like a loop. And now that the love is gone and it just keeps going over and over. But I love it. It's a vibe. I don't know. Oh, I'm really into Lana Del Rey. I've been a Lana Del Rey fan. Don't get it twisted. Since middle school, okay? The new girls are just now paying attention to her. Maybe not. I feel like a lot of her old songs were just trending on TikTok, so she kind of like came back in topic. But obviously, Lana has been that girl. She's been keeping up. I love her other album. My God, someone's calling me right now. I can't answer. I'm going to have to reject. She's performing at Coachella, y'all. I'm so excited. I didn't have plans to go, but I want to go just to see her because Lana Del Rey is, is the epitome of Coachella. Like, do you know how amazing that's going to be? I have to. I have to see it. Bad bitches read books. What books are you reading? So I'm still finishing Attachments or Attached, which is like a psychological book about attachment styles. There's like three different ones, whatever. I mentioned it before, but I never finished reading it. I kind of just like put it to the side and forgot about it. I just ordered a Bible. It's called the She Reads Bible. It's like a big pink one and it just is easier. It breaks it down. It's better to understand because reading the actual Bible is very hard and I wouldn't understand anything they're talking about. But a goal of mine this year was to read the Bible. So I did get that so that's kind of just like the stuff that I'm currently needing to finish hey love watching you would you consider visiting your country Trinidad yes of course I visited before and I wanted to go to carnival this February but the problem is I didn't have someone to be in the same band as me and my other aunt is going but she's older so the band she's doing I just didn't love the outfits and if I'm paying for that then I want to love what I'm wearing, okay? And I didn't want to be in a band by myself because you need someone, you need a little partner. You're going to be partying 24 hours a day. You need somebody. So, unfortunately, I'm not probably going to go this year. And it's coming up. It's just short notice now. But I, I need to pre-plan. So whoever wants to be my little carnival bunny, let's plan for next year because I have to go next year. I have to. I went to the last carnival before COVID, though. And it was, it was fun, but it was hard for me to hang. I need to prepare this time. What age would you be ready for marriage? Um, I'm ready for marriage now, if that was what was aligned for me. I'm definitely not like, oh, nah, I need to still be outside, blah, blah, blah. Like, if I was with the right person that felt, that fit all the qualities I'm looking for and I felt comfortable and whatever, and it was right, I would get married right now. I don't, I don't really care about, like, dating and being single. I'm enjoying being single now, but if I met my soulmate tomorrow, how did you find London? I love London. I've been many times at this point. I always enjoy going back. I could see myself maybe moving there in the future. I don't know how that would like work, but I could like that's somewhere that I always have at the back of my head. Like I should just move there. I should just, I should just move. <laughs> but I love London. I love everyone I meet from London. So posh and cute. I don't know. I just, I just love it. I love it but someone said i literally love your content so much and how do you and how do you handle dealing with so much in life generally thank you um i don't know girl i'm just living one day at a time and that's that's the truth i don't know i truly don't know sometimes i feel like i'm losing my mind but i push through i push through will you go to college to increase education oh my god two people asked this someone else asked do you ever think about going to college so i'm taking my digital marketing course which is a course that you probably would have taken in college if that's what you were major majoring in so i guess that that's not going to college but it's like i'm taking a course for something that i would have gotten a degree in so like yeah i guess that's like kind of halfway right now but i probably wouldn't like fully 
take a four-year college but I do believe in like learning about what you want to do and seeing if there's a course for that just getting the education on it as much as you can how tall are you I'm 5'5 five five. no one believes me because this is the thing I have a very long torso so I appear taller in photos I have long legs but anytime I go to the doctor even when I was just at an agency for modeling like every time I'm measured on a wall I'm exactly 5'5 five five. like exactly and I ask everyone I'm like are you sure like I think I'm like maybe five six five seven they're like no you're five five like head to wall I'm five five how do you keep your belly flat and waistline snatched chlorophyll because that will have you on the toilet honey um apple cider vinegar that also helps Pilates hello there's so many things but those are a few tips I have to keep your waist snatched best fashion tips how do you decide on what to wear I love Pinterest. I find inspiration on Pinterest. If I have an outfit in mind or I see something I like, I go on Pinterest. I find different ways to style it. I have like different folders for fashion and styling. If I have a trip coming up, I create like mood boards and save a Pinterest folder for that trip with tons of outfit, outfit inspiration. And then I see what I already have in my closet, how to kind of recreate it, or I might buy things to recreate it. But I usually just see what I already have and you just gotta find your personal style and draw inspiration from it and just experiment, play around. If you like how Bella Hadid dresses, type in Bella Hadid street style. Save pictures to a board of your fashion inspo and then go in your closet and see, okay, she had on like this hat with the vest and those pants. Like, what do I have that's similar? She had on like a baggy fit. What do I have that, like that's how I play around with fashion and it works for me. It's fun, I've created some cute looks with doing that and I'm not ashamed to say I draw inspiration from other women, people I see. We needed to catch up. We needed to, you know, get on the same page. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you liked this. I can do updated Q and A's maybe every other month or however often you guys feel because there was still a lot of questions, but I already talked too much and you know, this video can't be three hours long. So if you have any other questions that you want me to answer, I'll try to answer in the comments as well. And see y'all in the next video.